Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry's Telegram channels, Tartaria and History channel. Please check the description to know more about his channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this information. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of race to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel that I just created. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Buildings built in the 1800s. The first photo is from 1852 at St. Isaac's Cathedral in St. Petersburg, Russia. The construction supposedly started in 1818 and was completed by 1858, which is 40 years of construction. By the photo in 1852, it looks pretty completed as we can see. So, it took another six years to complete. The last three photos are state buildings from America. Years of construction. Georgia State Capitol 4 years. Michigan State Capitol 6 years. Texas State Capitol 6 years. When you can throw up a World's Fair in 2 years with all that excavation, engineering, design, and construction, these state capitals would be a dawdle. Maybe Russia went for the long construction narrative instead. You decide. The French Catacombs Hundreds of miles of tunnels full of bones and skulls. The official story is that they are bones from graves and have been rehoused in the tunnels to make room on the surface. Such a strange story to come up with. I wonder are these bones from people of the last reset? You decide. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The same god or being, portrayed from every culture around the world. How could they depict the same god or being? It looks like we were far more connected, and all cultures followed similar beliefs, but they don't want us to know that. The story is so much simpler if the time we live in now is the most progressive stage of humanity. Unfortunately, we can see from the past, we are probably the least progressive and the most disconnected. What do you think? Fourteen-foot-tall giant. Here we have another newspaper article from the late 1800s. These articles were very common of giants found in that time. The cover-up of our past and the evidence of giants is immense. I will read the article for you. Giant skeleton. Found in a river bank, tomahawk at his side. Browntown, West Virginia, April 5. A remarkable discovery was made by Harry Berry, a teamster, near the wharf landing. The recent flood had washed away a portion of the bank at that point, and exposed to view a skeleton, which when dug out of the bank, was found to be of enormous size. The skeleton was evidently that of an Indian. A pipe and tomahawk were found by his side. The skeleton is in a fair state of preservation, and is 14 feet in length. The skull, jaws and teeth of the red man, were well preserved. Last Descendants of Giants in North America It seems to be from the era of the Civil War. Were these some of the last giant men of the continent? What do you think? Forty-foot Studebaker President 
the world's biggest passenger car 40 foot Studebaker president. This is an excerpt from the article. In 1931, the company built a massive wooden replica of the president, two and a half times the size of its production counterpart. The model was more than 40 feet long and 14 feet tall. The car weighed more than 5.5 tons and had a white pine body. The wheels supplied by Firestone Tire and Rubber Company measured 7 feet across. The giant car was parked outside the main gate of the Studebaker test site, near the automaker's hometown of South Bend, Indiana. The exhibition attracted extraordinary publicity for the company and became an endless passion for residents of the area and passing tourists. Unfortunately, little was done to protect the solid wood structure from the devastating effects of a harsh winter. The car existed until spring of 1936, when the company decided to burn it because it was in deplorable condition. Jan was born in Fuzhou, Fujian province, in the 1840s, though reports of the year vary from 1841 to 1847. His height was claimed to be over 8 feet 3 inches. He left China in 1865 to travel to London, where he appeared on stage, later traveling around Europe, the US and Australia, as Chang the Chinese giant. He received a good education in various countries and developed a good understanding of 10 languages. In America, he earned a salary of $500 a month. In 1878, Zhang retired from the stage and settled in Bournemouth, where he opened a Chinese tea house and a store selling Chinese imports. Zhang died in Bournemouth in 1893, four months after his wife, aged around 50. His coffin was 8 feet 6 inches. Buried in Bournemouth Cemetery. The giant of Kandahar was an enormous humanoid creature, allegedly encountered and killed by a group of American army soldiers on a mountainside in Afghanistan. Stephen Quayle spoke of an occurrence which is still classified by the US government in his popular radio show, Coast to Coast. The events allegedly happened in 2002 in a desert part of Afghanistan when a US army squad went missing. A special ops task force, branch unknown, possibly rangers considering that the missing squad was army, was sent to find out what had happened, and the soldiers walked along a ragged mountainous trail until arriving at the entrance of a large cave. Pieces of broken US military equipment and gear were scattered all around the clearing. The task force was about to enter the cave to explore its recesses when approximately 12 to 15 feet red-headed six-digit double-toothed humanoid emerged and attacked the soldiers. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.